Hi guys, welcome back to our channel Venkat Vegi. In this video lesson, I am going to explain some kind of coaching words. Usually in English, questions can be asked in two ways. The first one is with the help of helping webs and second one is by H by AW. You know what are helping webs? They are in 24 in number. For instance, am, is, are, was, were, do, does, has, have, had, can, could, may, might, shall, should, might and so on. What are H by AW? H means how, AW means which, when, where, whom, etc. So, by using two kinds, these two methods, generally we are asking questions. You know, comparatively giving statements, asking questions too difficult. If you know properly how to ask questions, how to question the people, certainly you may know up to 80% of English. So that's why I think I'm advising you, I'm requesting you, please focus on questioning. Okay. So in this lesson, without wasting your valuable time, I'm going to explain the first question word that is who. Usually who refers to person. When we are asking name, identity, at that point of time, usually this question word is being used in all tenses. Okay, the first sentence is, who is your best friend? That means I am asking you, you have so many friends. In which, who is your best friend? Next one, who are you? You know, you ask some, someone else, in case of one person, who are you? In case of more than one person, in that case also, you can ask them, who are you? Okay, next one, who is talking to you? Who is talking to you is present continuous tense, the action which is going on right now. At right now, who is talking to you? And next one, who has left just now? It is in present perfect. Who has just left now? And next one, who will go there? It is future tense, simple future. Who will go there? Who will go there along with you? Who is coming with me? And next one, who was at the party? It is simple past. The action was over. In that action, who was, sorry, who was at the party along with you? So, in that way, we can ask some kind of questions with the help of who. Next one, who was dancing when you were cooking? Comparatively, this is a little bit lengthy sentence. In this case, we can see two accents. One is dancing and one uh, second one is cooking. When you are cooking, someone was dancing. Who is that? Next one. Who did you meet? Who did you meet means whom did you meet actually? But nowadays, whom has been neglected? It, it has been omitted day by day in modern uses. Instead of whom, generally most of the times who can be used. So that's why there is no problem if you use who or whom. In this case, who did you meet or whom did you meet? So now, I am going to look at another word that is where. Usually, where refers to position or place. Whenever we are asking someone else their position and something's place, at that point of time, we need to use where. So, sentence. Where do you live? That means, I am asking you, what is your place of living? What is your place of dwelling? And one more thing here, live. L-I-V, live, means as a verb, staying or dwelling. L-I-V, live. Live means, uh, it's an as an adjective. Live means having life. And also, continuing. Watching something is going on live. That means, uh, uh, when at that point of time, cricket match is going on, it is live match. While the match is going on, we are watching lively. So, in that case also, live is used. So, that's why live is a verb, live is an adjective. And next one, where did you keep the books? It is in simple past tense and that means where, at what place, what exact place did you keep the books? Next one, where do I go wrong at English? It is a little bit different from other, uh, other sentences, that is. At what point, that means where, 
at conjunctions or prepositions or adverbs, possible as direct speech, indirect speech. Where, where exactly do I make mistakes? At English. That's why I'm asking. And next one, where have you gone there? I'm asking place. Where? Where have you gone there? Tell me. Next one. Where will you be tomorrow? It is simple future. Where will you be? So do you have any plan to go anywhere else tomorrow? So in this case, where can be used in, on different contexts depending on different situations. Next question word is when. When ante manake telsu. Eppudu. E sandarbhamlo. E samayana. E kshanana. At the what point of time. At what time. At what moment. At what occasion. At what circumstances. At what situation. So arakanga. Oh. సాధారణంగా వెన్నని యూజ్ చేస్తూ ఉంటాం ఎప్పుడు ఏ సమయంలో ఎగ్జాక్ట్ డేట్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్ టైం ఎగ్జాక్ట్ వీక్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్ డే మనం ఏదైనా అడిగేటప్పుడు ఇలా చెప్తూ ఉంటాం నెక్స్ట్ టైం చూడండి వెన్ ఈజ్ బర్త్డే నీ బర్త్డే ఎప్పుడు అంటే ఇక్కడ మనం స్పెసిఫిక్గా ఒక డేట్ కానీ అడుగుతున్నాం మనం ఈజ్ ఇట్ ఆన్ థర్టీయత్ ఆర్ ట్వెల్త్ పదమూడున పన్నెండున ఎప్పుడు వెన్ ఈజ్ యువ బర్త్డే నెక్స్ట్ వన్ వెన్ డిడ్ యూ లాస్ట్ సీ హిమ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అ పాస్ట్ యాక్షన్ వెన్ డిడ్ యూ లాస్ట్ సీ హిమ్ మీన్స్ వెన్ డిడ్ యూ మీట్ హిమ్ లాస్ట్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ ఎట్ వాట్ టైమ్ బిఫోర్ డిడ్ యూ మీట్ హిమ్ డిడ్ యూ టాక్ టు హిమ్ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ వెన్ విల్ ఏ మీట్ యూ నెక్స్ట్ వీక్ వెన్ విల్ ఏ మీట్ యూ ఇట్ ఈస్ అ ఫ్యూచర్ యాక్షన్ సో ఇన్ ఫ్యూచర్ వెన్ విల్ ఏ మీట్ యూ నెక్స్ట్ వీక్ ఆర్ నెక్స్ట్ మంత్ ఆర్ నెక్స్ట్ ఇయర్ when are you free at that point of time i will meet you next one when have you bought this new car that means he has bought a new car but he doesn't know at that point of time he is asking the other person who has bought the car uh, when have you bought this new car the time exact time he is asking exact time okay friends it is the part one of question words you know every question words can be used in different contexts in different ways and different parts of speeches. Next, next word is when. Usually when refers to particular time. At what time? At what moment? At what occasion? At what situation? At what circumstances? Something is going on. Something will happen. Something happened in the past. At that point of time, we use this kind of question word that is when for example for instance i am going to say some sentences by using this when is your birthday that means when is your birthday means exact date tell me exact date is it on 30th or 12th next one when did you last see him that means some time ago he met him at what time did you meet him at what what time did you consult him did you talk to him in the same way on what occasion did you meet him so for getting some such kind of meaning we use when next one when will i meet you next week or next month or next year when will i meet you it is a future action in future when are you free at that point of time i want to meet you so that's why when will you be free when will i meet you so i am asking your permission okay next one when have you bought this new car just now i have heard that you bought a new car when have you bought this new car one more thing here so the one person is asking this question other person at that point of time he told that i bought this car two days ago it is simple past tense here the person is asking question doesn't mention particular time so that's why the other person the answering person is saying that i bought this car two days ago without mentioning time he has to say like this i have bought this car just now yeah i have bought this car 
so in that way depending on context depending on situation depending on time sequence of time many kinds of tenses can be used many kinds means strong tenses so that's why we have to focus on tenses if you have good command over tenses certainly surely you can speak good english you can write too okay if you really interested in learning speaking writing good english please subscribe my channel that is venkat vegi and also comment share to your friends well wishes as many as possible as many as times please keep learning keep staying at home thank you for watching my video thank you good luck keep going and keep rocking